multimodal presentation assignment, I chose the works of Giselle Frond. Giselle is a revolutionary French photographer. She specializes in documentary photography and is well known for her intimate form of photography, which captures facial expressions. As a Nazi Germany refugee, Giselle and her photography took place during a very historically sensitive and ethically problematic time period. Her intentions as the photographer are seen in the facial expressions of, of her subjects. She has a way of properly representing the person for who they are and what they stand for. This first photograph is a self-portrait. It's interesting because she's not smiling or frowning. Her eyes are focused but also soft. For the most part, her photographs are interpretive and ethically evaluative. This is because her photographs express the emotion on people's faces. It is up to the viewer to decide how the facial expression makes them feel and what the photograph most likely what the subject was most likely feeling in the photograph. The second photograph by Giselle that I have chosen is of Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is a Mexican painter. Here she is depicted as being sweet, soothing, and motherly. Her softly extended hand has a loving tone and completes this photograph as an aesthetically evaluative photograph. It may also be considered explanatory because it is a clear representation of her feeding birds, which looks to be something that she does often because she seems to be quite comfortable with it. This next photograph by Giselle is of Anouk Amy. She is a French film actress. She is well known for being a sophisticated beauty. She once said the quote, it is so much better to desire than to have. This photograph of this of next photograph caught my attention aesthetically for its evaluative more tone it is, because it does it is not seem to be intended appealing. to be taken seriously or in this a monotone This is thanks to the composition, way lighting, and form of the photograph, but it is also After looking further at who Andre, Andre Breton is. is, I learned that he is a pioneer to the most novel form of art during this time called surrealism. Surrealism is defined as a movement which began in the 1920s of writers and artists who experimented with ways of unleashing the subconscious imagination. I have included a few examples of surrealism that I was entertained by, and you might be entertained by also. Giselle's interpretation of Breton is interesting because she chose not to capture the, his facial expression in black and white, which I think is reflective of his outside-the-box way of thinking and doing things. I would label this as an interpretive photograph. The next two photographs are two examples of the 1920s movement called Surrealism. The last photograph that I chose to analyze by Giselle is serious or pensive in nature. It is a photograph of Thornton Wilder, who, after looking further into, I found out is an American playwright and novelist. He seems to be a serious man, and he seems to be deep in thought with himself. I think that this photograph is interpretive because it is up to the viewer of the photograph to decide what Wilder might have been feeling and how his facial expression makes me feel. I think that he is trying to figure out how to make something work, and his face makes me feel a little bit stressed. Um, overall, Giselle's work is entirely conceptual over material. This is because it is art in which where the ideas involved in the work take precedence over traditional or material concerns. Giselle's work is important to the fields of photography because it is taken from the interpretation of a woman, which is which was new within itself, and beyond that, she incorporates her vision of the wholesomeness of the subject that she is photographing and her timing of the photograph in order to capture the exact moment that she feels rightfully represents who they are as a person. The dates of her photographs are not included, but you can find her work in galleries such as Galleria Clairefontaine, which is where I found these photos. And the name of each of the photo is just the name of the person that she was photographing. Thus concludes my multimodal presentation. Thank you.